Gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us. Can you kind of just start and introduce yourselves and tell us a little bit about Anthony Knack? I'm Knack Armstrong. I'm Anthony Camargo. We're Anthony Knack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and um, we started our in jewelry about 10 years ago, so we're, we just celebrated our 10th year anniversary. I read you, ca you kind of got your starts in architect and furniture design and some other stuff. So how did it come into jewelry? Well, that was a, uh, a, a business decision, but uh, basically Nack and I met in Manhattan. Um, when we met, we both kind of realized that we both kind of had a similar aesthetic or appreciation for um, artistic uh, work and fashion. And um, we started talking about uh, doing something together. And um, we didn't know that we were going to do jewelry in the beginning. Um, in fact, we don't have an education in making jewelry. Yeah. So, that, so we actually moved to Austin, Texas from Manhattan and started our company there for practical reasons. Um, and that was from uh, the school at the University of Texas. Um, and when we first started our company, we started actually in textiles. Oh. And the jewelry came as an evolution of our company. Oh, cool. The decision to make to start a jewelry company was based on many things. Um, I always like to say this, that as a furniture designer, or um, the things that I used to do, it's a lot easier to carry around a, a piece of jewelry. <laughs> and well, um, you've d designed jewelry for, I've read Angelina Jolie and the Bush Girls at the inaugural ball and just Reese Witherspoon and some other things. Back then, did you ever think it would be where it is now? Well, I think that's a really good question because I truly am one that believes in you go where you set your sights. I mean, if you believe that we did. I mean, I don't, I, whether the specifics we, you know, we would be on Angelina Jolie, no, but we definitely were designing and creating a business that would appeal to the, we felt were the, the best of the best, the yeah. people who had access to everything. So really what that means is we wanted to create um, things that were coveted Cool. by people who can have anything. Yeah. So, so and, I, and I agree, totally agree with that. When, when we sat down before we started the company, we, we asked ourselves several questions. What is it that we wanted to do? Yeah. And one of those things was that we wanted to become um, famous or well-known designers mm -hmm. in whatever field that we chose to go into. Cool. Not to be starving artists, which again <laughs> reflects back to SCAD. Yeah. Um, and we also knew that we wanted to be the best. And being we wanted the best, to be innovators. We wanted creators. to be known for our design. We wanted to become the best because we deserve to be the best and not just because we were marketing ourselves. Right. Very good. Yeah. What's your message to young aspiring designers? Well, I mean, I think we touched on it earlier. Um, it's, about, it's about having a vision and sticking to that vision and understanding that uh, you have to be focused about who you are. It's very easy when you get out in the marketplace for people to start wanting you to be other things. Yeah. Uh, but you always have to do that within the context of keeping your eye on what what's going to sell. I mean, if you're going out into the commercial marketplace, ultimately the goal of anything that you do is that it sells. Yeah. And, and so um, that's those are the two things you have to weigh.